Hey everybody, is your hard drive full? Are you looking down the barrel of buying a new drive? This episode's all about how to figure out where to clear that space with a great open source tool. So let's dive in. Everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today I'm going to show you a tool called Windows Directory Statistics. This is an open source tool and it is fantastic for finding hard drive wasted space. Now, there's a lot of automated stuff out there that goes and says, oh, I'll clean your hard drive and do this and do that. But this tool actually shows you what is taking the space up in your hard drive that may be stuff that would be easy to archive off to a USB drive, or if you don't need it, just delete it. So, with no further... Oh, wait! Oh my gosh, you know, the XYL is going to kill me if I don't ask you to please click on the subscribe button if you like the stuff I do. And hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And not only that, don't forget to click on the notification icon so when I come out with new videos, you get to know about it. Anyway, with that, on with the show! Well, hi, I'm Stu, AG6AG. So, today I want to talk to you about what you're going to do when your hard drive's full. I mean, when you don't have any room left, you're getting errors, you're getting pop-ups. Oh, you know, there's no room on your drive. Blah, 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 blah. Well, one of the options, of course, is to replace the drive. Uh, there are several different ways to do that. We may talk about different ways to replace that hard drive in a future video. Uh, I do believe I have one that gives an explanation of a eh, maybe not so simple way to do it, but a way to do it and keep all your programs. Uh, I'll see if I can find a link and put it down in the description stuff. Um, but the real thing you should be looking at is wasted space, right? So how are we going to figure wasted space out? Well, let's look at a couple traditional options, right? So let me uh, go ahead and change my picture here a little bit. I'm going to go into, obviously, File Explorer, and eh, maybe not so obviously, and I'm going to go to my PC and I'm going to open up my C drive. So in here, I can say, all right, well, hmm, let's see. Let me go to user's properties. Let's see how much stuff I have in user's properties. Well, altogether, I don't have a lot in there. I got under a gig. Uh, how about Windows? What do I have in Windows? And I can continue through here and dig and dig and dig and try to figure out, all right, where am I using all my space, right? So, this is doable, and this is how I used to do it um, all the time. And then I figured out that I could uh, go into another operating system and access the drive and, you know, kind of look through it and do what's uh, basically better known as a DU or a disusage command in Linux and be able to determine what directories were really chewing up the most space. Um, you can see, right, right now that my uh, Windows directory is taking quite a bit of space. But, you know, not really, because Windows takes a lot of space. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this, because the actual subject of this is a neat little open source program that I found. This is WinDurStat. So, let me go ahead. Uh, I'm going to type into the search bar WinDurStat, and look at that top thing is winderstat.net okay this is where you want to go https winderstat.net okay this is an open source project uh, the source code's available you can look through it everything else a lot of neat hooks that are in the source but for the most part if you're just trying to figure out where you might be able to clear up some space this tool works great I'm going to go to Downloads and Permalinks, and I'm just going to download this right here from the top link at Foss Hub. And there we go. 
there's a download for the Win uh, the Windows installer. I'm going to click on it. Going to download it down here. I'm going to click on this to run the installer. It should say, hey, you sure you want to run this? Uh, you know, you need to be an administrator, and there's no uh, publisher known on this. I'm just going to say yes. At this point, I can close my browser. I'm going to accept the terms to the license agreement. Now, this is actually licensed under the GNU General Public License Version 2. So read through this if you're unfamiliar with GNU. Uh, I trust the GNU license. I was involved and still am involved in open source and respect the way... Uh, the open source licenses work. Now, um, you know, there really isn't much you need to add to this if you're running on a Windows 10 machine uh, or a Windows 11 machine. However, you may need to, you know, add some ASCII stuff if you're on Windows 95, 98, or ME. If you're still on Windows 95, 98, and ME, shame on you. All right? We're just going to take the defaults. I'm going to go ahead and install it and say next. And I am going to go ahead and run this just to show you the process. All right. And it asks me, okay, I'm just going to load all drives. Now, I am on a uh, system that, yeah, let's be honest here, this system is not necessarily a real system. I am on a VM. So this is going to go through, it's going to analyze a virtual drive. And you know what? The only reason this system exists is so I can demo these installs. Um, not really what we need to do. So instead of going through this, let's just magically through the <clears throat> magic of video, go to a real computer with this already open. Okay, now this is the same program, same version, Winder Stat, running on my uh, PC that I do all my videos on. It's also my, uh, uh, believe it or not, my ham radio PC. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off my camera so you can see the whole picture here. Now you see this whole area here? This is the hard drive. Look, I've got giant areas of this purple stuff. Now, I can actually go up here, I'll click, and you know what? Purple, it says here, are MP4 files. I click on that, and it highlights all... What does that mean, MP4? Well, those are videos. Those are stored videos. All right. Wow. I can also go over here, and, well, where are all those videos at? And I can go over here and click on User, right? And right there... Well, there you go. There is the user folder right here. You see it all highlighted in white. The whole upper section here is users. All right, well, let's dig a little deeper. What user? Oh, what a surprise. It's Stu. Wow. Okay. And also, I can look at the percentage of stuff that's here. But what are these... What are these brown things over? Oh, hard disk image file. So I can click on these individually and I can look at what they are, right? Look at that. These are all the different hard disk images that I use when I'm doing videos. So again, this gives me a real insight into stuff. And let's go ahead and I'll click this to collapse it. I can see that the majority of the issue for everything that's taken up space here, right? is in users. And I can also see that the majority of the issue is in Stu. Now I can start getting serious about this stuff in Stu. I could actually clean up a lot of these videos, but boy, uh, well, I got a lot of stuff in docs, right? So what all's in documents? My goodness. So let's take a look in there. Oh, look at that. Dash cam videos. Oh my goodness gracious, look at look at that. Okay, so those dash cam videos right there are taking up a considerable amount of room. Do I need to save them? Probably not. I could actually clean that up, right? Uh, if I want to know something about specific space too, like this green thing down here, what is this? Ah, okay, NI Visa, offline ISO. So these that's a disk image. That's a disk image. Look at that. That's the Windows install. What's that? That's 
That's another Windows install, right? All of this stuff, I'm able to isolate now and figure out what I want to do with it. So, again, this is actually a pretty neat little program. I really like it. I think it's something that will help you. So, um, hey, your mileage may vary, but if you're running out of disk space and you're just, you don't want to buy a new drive and you don't want to go through the disk duplication process to save your programs, or you just don't want to format and start over, this might help you out. Anyway, I hope it does. This is Stu, AG6AG, and uh, I hope you enjoy Winderstat. Well, like I said, I really like this tool, and I think you will too. Um, it sure makes it easier to figure out what's taking up your hard drive space, and it allows you to make some educated decisions about what you have on your hard drive space. This is in no way an automated tool that just automate, uh, automatically makes decisions and removes stuff. It gives you the power, and it gives you a ability to look at what directories and what files are really chewing up that drive. Anyway, with that, oh, hey, if you have any questions, anything like that, make them down in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like my videos, click on like. With that, I'm Stu, AG6AG, and I'm saying 73. And you know what? Hope to hear you on the air.